Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel today. A new series starting on the channel. And it is the Madden 22 Carolina Panthers rebuild slash franchise where I play every single game. You guys can experience it with me. Maybe through the ups, the downs. Definitely don't want to see the downs, but we're going to be here if there is any. Um, I'm usually a pretty good man player. I may throw like 20 picks a year sometimes, but that's not to be spoken of. So <laughs> let's get on to the settings. First off, we will not be playing on pro. I don't even know what's on pro. We must do it automatically. We will be playing on all man on simulation, which is the hardest because don't want to do arcade competitive. I've never even played on competitive before in my life. So let's do simulation. So start on deadline. Coach firing. For the sake of this franchise, we'll be turning that off. Just so if I maybe win like two games, let's just say I won't be getting fouled. Let's just do that, yeah. Injury will be on. As much as I don't want it to be, it will be on. Um, the next thing I'm looking at is probably quarter length. Yeah, I'll be doing eight minute quarters to make it more longer just in case if I do need to come back or something like that. Guys, my voice still a little bit weird. I still am a little bit congested, I would say. Not really sick no more, but I'm still congested. Let's just say that, so. That's why. Um, my voice keeps going, like, in and out. Yeah, that should be, like, it. Of all that stuff. I will be starting in the preseason. I doubt I'll do any preseason games. But, but yeah, I will be starting in the preseason. So yeah, let's get out to it. The new head coach of the Carolina Panthers, Mr. Coach Mark Dent. Here we are, week one into the preseason, facing the Indianapolis Colts. Um, like I said, I do not know if we'll be doing any preseason games. If I do do any, it'll probably be like simulating or like doing play the moments. I doubt I will do any though. I do preseason later on down the road, road once I have my first draft class because because then I'll be able to like develop like maybe seven round rookies you won't think will be good and then you turn them into a star for preseason. Never know. So see what this is about. Um I don't even know what I sucked on. It was just something. Um Tuba Hubbard has asked a lot of questions that came in and is eager to learn more. I'm going to spend some extra time walking with him after practice. What should I focus on? Long term development on Give him some insight in, in how you found where you are today and let him know, know about if he dedicates himself or nothing stopping him from becoming a star in this league. Oh yeah, Tuba Hubbard. Be the next great backup, baby. Because CMC, obviously the star though. Um, But yeah, that will be doing any preseason game, so let's just simulate to the regular season and I will see you guys then. Here we are, week one into the regular season. <laughs> we got a revenge game on our hands, if you guys know what I mean. A revenge game, I will be showing you guys what that means in a minute. If you guys do not know, a revenge game on our hands. <laughs> Excited. Here we go with some upgrades. Um, You got Brian Barnes, who is a big is the fan player of Brian card. Barnes. Big fan Here of you can see your strengths. Of this, is the this is the develop. This is the ability set. Here you can see speed rush for Brian Barnes, 100%. He's needs to be coming off our edge faster, more effective, and more often. So Brian Barnes should be getting up pretty high. Um, Dante Jackson, really fast corner. Um, yeah, let's make a man on him. Dante. And it's good. Plus two main coverage, plus one play wreck, plus two tackle, plus two zone. That was actually really good. How much busy? No, 96? Yeah, 96. Thought so. He's really fast corner, so. Taylor Moten, one of the best rock, rock tackles in the league. Let's put him on pass protector. Honestly, I'll probably be running him more this season than passing that for a lot of McCaffrey, but. Never know. Never yeah, know. He's a good young right tackle too, he's only 27. Matthew Ioannidis just now picked him up from Washington in free agency this year. Great to have Matthew Ioannidis on the squad. Um, plus two play work, plus two power moves. Love to see that, love to see it. Okay. CJ Henderson picked him up from the Jaguars. And what trade was that? 
Um, I cannot think of right now, but we traded for Jaguars last year. It's pretty interesting. Then the man, let's put it up. Plus one catching, plus one man, covers plus one play, uh, plus two to press. That ain't too bad. Good young corner. The Jaguars drafted out of a first round. Here's Sammy D, the starting quarterback of your Carolina Panthers. Let's go. Same down on him. Mm -hmm. Come on, strong on to see how. Okay, went up to 72. Let's see what he got. Plus, ooh, plus one four power, plus one Mariners. Ooh, not that good. Okay, um, that was just like a CPU upgrade. The rest of those guys, I really do not care about Dennis Daly, etc. So, let's get on to the roster once this loads. Actually, now first before we go to the roster. Let's go to two draft class. Um, to import a local file. Um, I do not know which one it is. I do have three of them on here. Let's see if it's this one. Yeah, it looks like it to be this one. Be right. Looks like it anyway. Does seem that way. So okay. That will be the draft class this season. Who knows? I may win the Super Bowl year one and just. I doubt I'd call it quits. I'm said probably still yet keep this going. Try to repeat, you know. Because I don't want this to be like a, such a s short series, so. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um. Okay, now let's check into the roster before doing the key to victory. Let's check out the roster a little bit. Let's go to a just lineup. Here we go. Now here's what I meant earlier about revenge game. Sam Donald facing up against his former team, the New York Jets. Oh yeah, he be be ready for this one. This is so where he recently played. Yeah, see NYJ, the New York Jets. He was abysmal. Well, to say after they drafted him round one pick three in 2018, he was really hyped up coming out of USC. Has not lived up to it at all. Didn't do good this year for Panthers in real life, so I bet his career was over. Um, he'll probably he's looking like he'll be the starter again in Carolina, which I highly disagree. He shouldn't be, but they should draft him someone. But that's. But paying for his decision, I'll leave that to them, <laughs> I guess. So, got Sam Donald. Nothing there. I'm probably gonna draft a quarterback. It doesn't matter what pick I get. Probably be drafting a quarterback. Christian McCaffrey, the best player. This player has on this team, 100%. This is yeah, a like powerful ability that can be That's always nice. Only 25 years old. Yeah, you can tell. It's just kind of, kind of sick. It's mostly just my nose. I have a stop them nose, but Christian McCaffrey. Best player on this team, hands down. If he can stay healthy, he's one of the best running backs in the league. Grew up a Broncos fan, so I respect him for that. Um, Caffrey's one of the best players in the league if he could stay healthy. In real life, he's dealt with some injury stuff, so. Yeah. DJ Moore, definitely probably the second best player on this team. DJ Moore is a stud. Young stud, 24 years old out of Maryland. Phew. I didn't, did not know he went to Maryland, actually, but. That's cool to know. You got, I'm going to be playing Taylor Marshall, the rookie, out of LSU over top of the Sword Higgins, I feel like. I think they just now picked up a Sword Higgins out of free agency, but yeah. Sword Higgins isn't bad, but we will be starting Taylor Marshall, the rookie, out of LSU over top of him. Now, Robbie Anderson, he's getting kind of old. He might be a trade piece for me. 28 years old, he's giving me my god that hell. Phew. Um, this is 15 now Temple, so it's he's 28 years old. He's got to start regressing. Chuba Hubbard, the rookie, we were just start talking about wanting to make more of an impact. Chuba Hubbard did not look bad this year when McCaffrey was injured in a lot. So Chuba Hubbard maybe something to watch out for. The office line is the office line is. Yeah, you see, it's pretty bad. The only good one you even got is Taylor Moten. That's it. Matt Paradis, former Bronco. 
Um, I don't even think he's with the Pain Force no more. I think he was a free agent this year. No one ever signed him. So just for that case, I will be signing Brad Bozeman. They picked him up from the Ravens this season in free agency. So Brad Bozeman will be the starting center. Only 26 years old, so he's also younger than Matt Paris. I think Matt Paris is like 41 is. Yeah, 41. So, um, Cam Marvin. Ah, no. Dennis Daly. Just John Miller. Yeah, John Miller, this. This offensive line's a business. Let's just put it that way. We need to draft the lineman bad. That might even be my first time picking out a quarterback. Quarterback's obviously gonna be a bigger need, but oh, this offensive line. I could just draft some offensive linemen, because I'd possibly rather have a veteran offensive lineman than a rookie, so. Yeah. Taylor Moton, only good offensive line we have. 27 years old out of Western Michigan. Not too bad. Not too bad. Taylor Moton's a good player on the line, so. He would definitely be around for a long time. Now, Tommy Trimble, he's a, he's a rookie. Where is he out of? This player's development trait is I don't is know him. the name, okay, so. Put him in your uh, Tommy Trimble, we'll be signing him over top of Ian Thomas. We'll be signing Ian Thomas in real life, but Tommy Trimble will be the starting tight end if that start is. But defense is really, is really when it honestly starts to get pretty good. But defense honestly ain't that bad. You got Brian Barnes, huge fan of him coming out of Florida State. Um, Brian Bonds is that guy, 23 years old, superstar, dev, so, dude's a stud, let's put it that way. You got, Derek Brown, yeah, Derek Brown, I knew his name, I was just blanking on it for some reason. Amazing defense tackle, I don't really want to say amazing, but, good defense tackle. Young, defense tackle out of Auburn, got drafted around one pick. He's in the top 10. I cannot, I'm, I'm, it was, ooh. Up. So I'm gonna check that I'm blanking. Come on now. What was it? Do I wanna pick what? Gosh, I cannot remember. Awards. I don't, I don't wanna pick seven. I knew it was in the top ten. I just did not know men. Three. Pick seven. I thought I was pick eight, honestly, but I guess I'm thinking of JC Horn. Picked eight, pick eight last year, but. Matthew Ioannidis just now picked him up from Washington in free agency. Good pick up for him. I've always been a big fan of Ionitis, so. Good pick up for him. Your Toro Gross Matos from Penn State. Always been a huge fan of your Toro Gross Matos. Hasn't really signed much of the NFL yet, but just have sort of. Hopefully, something else for him. Got Dante Jackson. Maybe we signed him in real life. Good player. Good fast, young corner, so. Three of the best up there. Um, CJ Henderson, they never talked about him earlier. Good young corner. Didn't really do anything much with the Jaguars. He was there for, what, a year, if not half a year? As a rookie, and then got traded. How long was he there on the Jaguars? I know it wasn't long. It was like a year or less. Yeah, it was on the Jaguars 2020. Yeah, and his stats was oh, okay. One pick, 45 tackles. Eh, nothing much. Um. Let's see. You also got J.C. Horn. Star Dev Corner. Mr. J.C. Horn. Looking for him. Round one pick eight this year out of the draft. Panthers made a mistake. They let the Broncos take Patrick Sertan. And I was happy, man. Patrick Sertan was better than J.C. Horn. J.C. Horn's going to be a star. But he had a foot injury. This year he did have an interception before that foot injury. But I think that's all he had was a pick. So. Still think he'll be good. Just. Gotta watch out for injuries, but they re signed Frankie Louvre in real life. He's alright, I guess. Justin Boris. I'm not starting Xavier Woods at starting safety, but I do not know how well he'll do there. I'll put Xavier Woods at starting safety just as Sammy does. Damien Wilson, we just picked up from Jacksonville. I don't think it's an awful linebacker, so. Damien Wilson headed on over to the squad. You got. Is that Kamal Morton? Kamal Morton? Yeah, it is. Um. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Thank you, Lou Boots. Let's talk about him. Shaq Thompson. We got Ben Hill. Both the Panthers for a long time, I think. Only 27? Oh, this, that's tripping. There's no way. <laughs> he has been there since I remember. Phew. He must have came out of young age or something. Corey Little Timmy just now picked up from Vegas for Raiders. God, I can't stand them. Just now picked up Corey Littleton. He was abysmal for Raiders, so. Yeah, I mean, he was good for Rams. Winter Raiders was awful. So, 
got Jeremy Chin, who might be a hybrid linebacker for us. Stay tuned for that. Jeremy Chin could definitely be a, like a hybrid type of linebacker. Because that's honestly kind of how the Panthers utilize him in real life, so. Yeah. That's basically the end of the roster. Let's check out special teams and specialists and stuff. Yeah, we just now pick up Johnny Hecker. The, probably the best punter in the league from the Rams. Rams in a surprise move got rid of him. I don't know why we got rid of Johnny Hecker, but we did. So, Johnny Hecker's on the paper now, so. Zane Gonzalez at kicker. Okay. Uh, whatever. Like, long snapper is Matt Parrott. It's okay, whatever. Kicker tone and punt with How much speed does this guy got? Sai Smith. He's got 91 speed in there. I like it, but punt with tone will be McCaffrey, I guess. This is, um, he's everywhere to not be the salt seed. That will be Mr. JC Horn. Um, what's up, then? Okay, yeah, what's the key? Well, that's be, yeah, Matthew Iron Artist. What's right in will be the tall girls and the toes. Sub linebacker will be Shaq Thompson. Power back will be McCaffrey. Fall down back will be McCaffrey. And slot receiver will be Terrence Marshall. And yeah, that's. Basically, it for the roster. Um, not a bad roster overall, I don't think. Gotta get better on the offensive line. Gotta get better at quarterback. But defense, for the most part, is kind of set. Maybe you need a strong safety. Xavier Woods has only played free safety in his career. That's something maybe have to look out for. Um, let's see what this opening day is about. So many Davis speak for the first half every team around the league, and you'll be facing with that executive victory. Stifling defense, because the state is pretty dang good. Okay, now such a good player on the cross, it's a good one to be among the best as possible. As soon as it's up to pass, we'll do a focus, guys, go fast, take a look, because we love Griffin, he makes a much portal, and he's scoring many games. That's basically it. Set, let's do the set scene goal. Meeting your season goal comes with higher rewards, but also let's do seven wins just to be safe. Which I won't. I won't be getting fired just because I turned that off. But yeah, that was the meet the team part of the video. Let now let's get on to the very first game. And hopefully that comes with beating the New York Jets. The NFL oh, takes us to the Carolinas one. and Bank of America Stadium here Jets. in here Uptown am. Charlotte. Just a few moments ever. ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the New York Jets. Ooh, ready. No of us are ready. Let's get on with this. Let's go, baby. Zach Wilson. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon, so happy to be with you to kick yeah, off this much anticipated 2021 season. With me in the booth as we begin our sixth season together is, of course, Charles Davis. And CD, so much to watch for coming up. What are you keeping an eye on? Well, Brandon, I'm ecstatic to be back with you, of course. And we've got a good one right here out of the gates. I'm interested in seeing some of the changes in 2021. Running backs and wide outs, even linebackers wearing single digit numbers. But even more than that, I want to see the changes defenses have made because last year we averaged 49.6 points per game. That's the highest ever by three full points. Can these defenses make an adjustment and start to catch up? Yeah, passer rating CD, an all time high. Completion percentage also an all time high. So as you said, will those numbers continue to climb northward or will the defenses adjust? This is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. 
I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now it's Wilson. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Well, there you go, Charles. The first completed pass of his young career. And we expect it not to be his last. Very good to get the first one out of the way, though, as he begins his career. They go play action with Wilson. And he finds Corey Davis. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A nice completion there for the first down. And, Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future there it is, cool and Rifles one, and that's cool going to be intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. And the Panthers are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. And the Panther offense ready to go for their first possession. And at the helm, you see him in his first year in Carolina after three with the Jets. It's Sam Darnold. Many people put stock in a quarterback's record as a starter. And Sam Darnold just 13 and 25 overall with the Jets. So many think that he's not going to be the guy, but there's a lot of talent there, and the Carolina Panthers are expecting it to come out. This could be a classic case of a change of scenery could do him well. Plus the surround. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. And that one coming on his opening carry of the season. Do you give him a mulligan? You would like to, but this game counts. <laughs> if this were preseason, he'd get a mulligan. But this is for real, so not expecting that at all. Got to find a way to take care of it. I'm sure he'll get other opportunities. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll try the right side here with Davis. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Wilson. He will find the rookie from Ole Miss, Elijah Moore. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Throw on first down with Wilson. Again, he finds more. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Davis. Seven yards, the pick up there. Another completion there, and we think back to the draft in the spring. This franchise essentially handing him the keys to the operation, a top-five pick. Charles, how ready do you think he is? I think he's ready for the NFL in terms of size, speed, the makeup of him, the character of him. The key is going to be, will this team accept everything he brings to the game and adapt to it, not just necessarily plug him into something that he doesn't do well. Third and one, Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. C.J. Uzama there to make Knox, the grab. The and the Jets have taken a first quarter lead. Got a great interception job. Zerline good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. <laughs> we'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And he's out of bounds. Able to take this one up to the 35. They'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. 
Darnold will hand off to McCaffrey. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. On first down, it's Darnold. He's going to look deep for more. I will be taking that shot. That was DJ. Oh, my goodness. A big play there for Carolina. But he reminded us that he was a thousand yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. Now a second down and six. Darnold from the gun. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey, 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And that will tie the score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Zach Wilson and the Jet offense set to take over here. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before they he's work it across midfield. So the completion there from Zach Wilson, rookie out of BYU. Charles, what do you think they have to be on the lookout for defensively here, trying to slow him down? Well, to me, it's sitting on the shorter and intermediate routes because he is an accurate thrower coming out of college. I think he was 73% his last season at BYU. So I'd give him as many looks as I could, but I'd force him to throw the ball over my head. There it is. And he fires Don't one that's intercepted. That. Dante Jackson picks Dante it. Jack, let's go into the house. There he goes on the side. Yeah, he will bring this one back. It's a pick six oh, yeah. for a Panther oh, yeah. touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything. Gonzalez is able to tack on the PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Jet offense set to go to work once more. Wasn't they a pin on your own? Both of them are like a He's not going his head high. Back to the air, Wilson after the pick six. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Davis. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another completion there, and what a big moment in a young quarterback's life that first NFL started. Charles, obviously they want him to win games, but if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just how quickly can he learn the offense, it's what they can teach him, right? How can he build a relationship with his receivers? And, of course, how open is he to learning? And, of course, how open are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field? And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. 
third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because it should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. There's Wilson to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Davis lost it. It's loose. Get it. There you go. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. This is McCaffrey on the give. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. So, CD, big changes for 2021. Of course, last year we had the expansion from six to seven teams in each conference making the playoffs. This year, they headlined the addition of a 17th regular season game. What did you think when you heard the news that this was happening? Well, my first thought, partner, was finally, because we've heard about a 17th game coming for a long time, and now here it is. So the beautiful part about all of it is that 17th game is going to be like these, these interdivision, interconference type games that are going to match up and play out over a four year period. And that's kind of cool. And I was looking forward to seeing some of the matchups that were going to come out of that for that 17th game. And could that be the game that decides a bunch of division titles? We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. Here we go with McCaffrey. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he shorted the line to gain. Christian McCaffrey unable to get to the marker. Well, it was too far for a field goal. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Now it's Wilson. Over the middle, complete. It's more. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. Throwing again on second down. Wilson dumps this off underneath. Here's Davis. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. There's Wilson. Open man is Uzama. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. This one left side caught by Barrios. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. No, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Second interception. Dante Jackson picks it, and the Panthers are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. 
certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. He got hit, that's on second. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? This time they stay on the ground. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and ten. The rookie Zach Wilson and the Jet offense set to go to work once more. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and ten. Right, another pick. And his pass is intercepted Jackson for the fourth time today. Dante Jackson, Jackson picks it. Well, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? Well, can you flip it around and say that maybe he is and could be for the game the way that things are going right now? I think if it's him, he wants to be on the field at all times. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Jarnold. They fight him oh, off. Got Trying to set up the screen and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. Pass the 20. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Sirline connects on the extra point, and that will tie our game here in the third. Second half. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. On second and nine, Darnold. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. Just a gain of a couple there. And they're going to face a third down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. A fake to McCaffrey. Now Darnold. Oh, and he will find the rookie from LSU, Terrace Marshall. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. The play fake, and it's Darnold rolling to his right. Oh, the a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, it's Davis. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. 
Davis, he'll try to run for it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Second and 12. Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They go back to the ground now with Davis. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 50 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. At all them turnovers we have, Johnson Jack, we can lose this game because of Darnold and his stupid offensive line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Throwing is Wilson. Throw to the right, taken in by Barrios. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Wilson now to throw on third down. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now the Jets will call on a field goal unit here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Zerline's kick is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it. Now a hit and a oh, loose God, football. It. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. Coming up on second and seven. And Charles, we get a look there at the draft class for this offense. What do you make of it? Overall, I like the balance of the guys that they selected because, to me, they got a few guys that can step in and play right away, which is exactly what you want. But they also drafted for the future as well. They got some guys who might need a year or two on the practice squad, so then we'll find out if they can actually play. Wilson. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. C.J. Uzama. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Jets will extend their lead. I'm going Zerline good with a PAT, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Carolina getting set to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 
Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get him a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Second and 10 now, third quarter from Charlotte. They'll give it up to McCaffrey, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. He's got his tight end. It's Tommy Trumbull. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first down, Darnold. And this is caught at the 8. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Again, McCaffrey. McCaffrey got it. He takes it into the end zone for the Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Panthers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Here's Wilson. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten again from the 25-yard line. Now a handoff to Davis. There you go. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Wilson. There it is. And look at Don't this. They get the game. turnover they needed. It's I intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And he's going to return it to the 21 yard line. Charles, are you kidding me? Four interceptions? I mean, that's a good season for a lot of defensive backs. A lot of reason to get voted into the Pro Bowl. When you have four in one game, I mean, talk about a campaign slogan, right? I got four. Send me to the Pro Bowl, guys. What a game we've experienced watching this one. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Five yards, now it's third and five. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Gonzalez's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, ready to go. 
They're down here in a one-score game, but the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences, and this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. Ooh, they go into this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Darnold to throw. Flush to his right. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left. And this has to be a first down or a touchdown. Or this game's over. Fourth down, and for Darnold, it's desperation time. Gets this to Moore. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Here's Darnold. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Here's second and ten. Now Darnold. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it. And that is caught at the 10 yard line. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. We are tied here in the fourth quarter. So the drive lines up going 75 yards in seven plays. And the touchdown at P18 mean we are tied here in the Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Throwing now is Wilson. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Wilson to throw. And that's complete to Davis. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now Wilson. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And we need overtime to decide this one. Still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball that gets picked up by the defense and they score, defense about ready to go. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, As we said, they control their own destiny now. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big play there on the catch and run. And how about that? So many times the big play is what does it in overtime. They got one there, moved the ball past midfield, and now you know they're on the move looking to score the game-winning touchdown because a field goal won't finish the game. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Carl Lawson, former Bengal, in on the stop. 
As overtime wears on, something to keep in mind, it is hot down there on the field. And if we think it's a sauna, what are they feeling down there? And this is where both teams find out about their strength and conditioning program. All the work they put into it to get to this moment, and did the guys follow the mantra of hydrating ahead of time so they're ready to go right now. Third and eight situation, a tough spot here in overtime on the opening drive. To throw is Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly and helped force the incompletion. Gonzalez's kick is good. And they have regained the lead. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT and now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. The field goal would push it to sudden death. We just saw the field goal on the other end, but I don't think they are thinking field goal. At least not to start this drive, they're not thinking field goal. Not at all, because your point is well taken. Yeah, kick the field goal, you push it to sudden death, but you're also kicking off and giving the other team the ball with a chance to kick a field goal and beat you. Get the touchdown, finish the game off. That has to be the mindset. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson, and the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, it's Wilson. Incomplete. Incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing again here, Wilson. I say pause the game. Over the middle, complete. It's more. Seven yards, the pick up there. From the 41, Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the draw, this is Davis. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. As a fan of the NFL, for an opener, you can't ask for much more than this overtime in week one. I know it's hard to believe that some people may not have been watching our game, but I'll bet through social media they found out this one was snug and getting into overtime, and they flipped over here in our hurry. This is fantastic. If you're a fan of ball, you love these types of games. And that'll set up back five. Now Wilson. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Two minutes on the clock in overtime in a three-point ball game. So a little chunk there on first as they try to chip away down three in overtime. I like your description. Chip away, down three. You don't have to get it all in one big play, although obviously that would be nice. But there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it. Run your offense, get first downs, get yourself in a position where you know you're going to at least get three and keep this game going. If you get six, so much the better. Now Wilson. And that is incomplete. And when you throw as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. Fourth down, here's Wilson. Finds a seam inside the foot and all the way down to the 33-yard line. 
He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right and now. Moving him down. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A great game, partner. A spectacular finish. They needed at least a field goal. To yeah, we lost 47 44. Well, only one. Um, maybe get things off better on the bell foot next week. Do not know who face on Moon Mist was. That's a step on the I can't believe we allowed 47 points to the New York Jets. Next week we play the Saints. Ooh, got Alvin Kamara and company over there. That's not good. But yeah, we lost. 47-44. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Follow me on Instagram at Broncos.network. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.